What's up YouTube? Thanks for tuning back in. Chase Games here and today's video is about what a great time it is to start playing Dragon Quest Tact. Uh, other than at the beginning, um, you know, you, you missed some time, but if you've seen this game, if you're interested and if you want to give it a shot, you're a big Dragon Quest fan and you uh, just found out about this game, start now, okay? Uh, it's not, these bonuses aren't specifically for new players, but as far as re-rolling goes, way better now than at launch. Um, so let's talk about why it's such a good time to start, and then I will explain if you are a day one player, or sadly, if you started within the last week or so, it's probably a good time to re-roll if you didn't get an amazing start. So I'm going to go over that in detail, but let's just look at why it's such a good time, and I'm clicking OBS and not blue stacks. This is just a fresh account that I just rolled up, didn't do anything with it yet. So let's look at the in-game news, notices. Um, by the way, if there are a lot of new players, I made some new player player guides uh, a month or so ago. They were real shot in the dark, uh, still very new to this YouTube uh, thing. Still not good at it, but if there are a lot of new players here that would like me to do a new player guide again, but like better, let me know. Okay, weird thing on Bluestacks at least, if you scroll too much, you lose the notices okay so right now we have because of the dragon quest 35th anniversary um me and platt streamed that together uh watching it you <laughs> if you want to watch the thing wa watch square stream on its own if you want to hear me and platt talk through it uh watch that it was just a little over an hour some exciting stuff but because the dragon quest 35 uh anniversary event was so exciting they gave us not only two uh new banners um but it's the first time on Global that we have gotten a banner with more than one featured s right rank on it. Uh, now they're a little different. It is two paid once only banners, and then they gave us a ticket for a free uh, summon on one of them. Not both, just one. Uh, so each of them have... Um, not all the banner units have returned. Um, yeah, no, not all of them, I don't think. Actually, is it, uh, is it everything? It's everything, right? Yeah. Um, sorry, this is going too long, because I, I don't want to make this too long for new players. But anyway, I, everything... I think every banner is up right now. Do we have Dragwar up still? So I think every unit that you can get in the game is available right now. Um, so I ended up... I already did my pull on my main account. I got a Killing Machine, which I didn't have, but Killing Machine without a dupe is a little less exciting. But I've got them now. Alright, so there's a whole bunch of stuff here, um, but really what you need to know is uh, that right now, on a fresh account, uh, let me see, we're starting with, oh my gosh, you even get the, dude, it's such a good time to start right now. Okay, this is a fresh account, done nothing with it, I started it up just before the stream to make sure it's going well. Uh, 40,000 gold, you guys, if you haven't played yet, if you've, <laughs> heck, if you've been only playing a week or so, you have no idea how important 40,000 gold is. All right, 600 gems is pretty nice. A couple of stam herbs. Okay, uh, Heroes Campaign. 10 Elena tickets. There's plenty of uh, free tickets to get, scout tickets to get in the shop, too. Um, let me see. 20,000 for 5 million. We still have the 5 million downloads celebration guy. Uh, and, and the Taiwan things. So many of the celebration things, we get them in a minute and they're gone. But for new players, they're still here. They do not last forever, trust me. Um, but right now... I mean, it might not be as good a time as this to start for a while. Then, uh, oh, 10 irises, believe me, those are important. More st lot, Lots of gems here. Um, but these are the biggest. So you always get 3,000 gems after you clear the tutorial. Um, for new players, this video is assuming that you've gone through... Um, I think you just need to clear Chapter 1 and then Chapter 2-1. It's very easy. Seriously, there's no reason to touch on it. Um... You guys can figure that part on your own if you haven't already. Um, so you always get 3,000. Right now, because of Dragon Quest Day, I don't know how long this will be active for. Today is the 28th of May. Uh, another 3,500. Um, so how that affects re-rolling? Hard to say. Because you have options right now. Um, and they really boil down to just how try-hard are you? How patient do you want to be on your re-roll? 
because you could go for a super reroll that would probably take you like a day straight. Um, but right now, all right. Uh, so uh, a multi t takes uh, three thousand three thousand gems. We've got enough for two, but we also have. Let's go through all the stuff that we have to go through right now. If this is the new player part for the most part, a little confusing. Okay, you will get used to it. Also, if you when you do these things, these banners will some of them will go away. Like if these banners are one time only. Uh, they will go away after you do them. This screen becomes a bit less confusing because you see all these little dots down here. That one, each one represents a banner that we have right now. Okay. Uh, okay. So this is the uh, paid for that. So that is paid gems only. These gems here, it's the exact same. Uh, looks like the exact same currency, but they do. Uh, they don't. Uh, they notate the difference between gems that you paid for. And gems that you got for free. A uh, little new player advice. A little bit something the community does not like very much. Um, but Square doesn't care. It's a it's a small thing. A little bit scummy. Um, but when you buy Jump Pack E, for example. You get 4,900 uh, paid gems. And then 600 bonus free. Okay. They may have... Did they change the wording on this? I think they did change the wording on this. Because now it actually... It used to just say bonus... And then it said that they only counted as free. Like, it was a very quick asterisk, I think. Um, anyway, these bonus gems, they count as free gems. They do not call, count as paid gems. So even though you think you're paying for 5500 right now, you're paying for 4900 and they're just graciously giving you 600 A little beef there. Sorry. Okay. Um, this is one of the banners that you can use your, uh, your one-time ticket here for. This gets you a whole 10 pull. And at the end, this is unusual, guys. This is a very big deal. At the end, you you have a guaranteed S uh, pull. And one of them will be these four units. They're all very good. Um, and then this is the paid one. You can do this once. Okay, this does these paid banners, the same as the first one here, uh, the first one that we looked at, does not guarantee you one of these S ranks at the end. But your 10th pull will guaranteed be an S rank. Okay. Um... Let's look at uh, the draw rate. Let's see what the chances are. So you've got... By the way, it's still a normal 10 pull. You can get more than one S. Um, the S rate is about 3% outside your uh, guaranteed slot. So um, normally a banner unit, I think, has a 0.7... Okay. Um, wait. This is... The general pool S ranks are not in here. Are they? No. The general pool S ranks are not in these banners. So when you... The paid banner still gives you... One, I'm sorry, I was going to explain it the wrong way. I'm glad I looked at that. If you do a paid uh, summon on this, it will still guarantee you one of those four units. That is the best value in this game by far so far. But again, this is only if you're paying... Um, the gem prices in this game need a little work. They need some sales. But if you really like this game, the paid banners are still a decent option. All right, so this is the same thing, except this one you get with your ticket. And again, it works the same way. You can get more than one S, and one of those S's will be one of these characters. So this banner is way better than I thought. Okay. Um, Sorrow. Right now, this is a normal paid banner. There is one featured S rank. Okay, so it's got a 3% chance of that S rank. Uh, and then, uh, if you get that, the Sorrow has... your w When you get an S rank, there's a... Uh, man, Bluestacks really screws this up. I believe it's a 0.7%. Really? Yes. So when you, when you get an S rank, there's a 7 out of 30, I think. Does it work out like that? No. Okay, there's about a 1 in 4 chance that your S rate, if you pull an S rank on this banner, there's about a 1 in 4 chance that it is the featured one. Otherwise, it will be one of the 13 general pool units. Some of those are useful, some of them are less. As a new player, they're all relatively useful. You'll figure that out later. But anyway, um, this is how normally the paid banners work. Uh, the S rank guaranteed, it is not guaranteeing you sorrow after okay it does not guarantee you sorrow on that 10th slot 
Okay, it guarantees you an S rank, and you've got about a one in four chance of it being sorrow. There's still nine other pulls on the on the banner though, and they all all have the normal S rank chance. And then anytime you pull an S rank on that banner, it's about a one in four chance it'll be sorrow. Um, okay, uh, these this is the banner you can do if you have tickets for him. Uh, you can buy ten of them in the event shop. It's actually pretty good. Him, he has a paid banner. This guy is not. He's still an S rank. He'll still help you get through story, but these ones are less excited. Elena's a bit better, um, and we do have ten token, ten uh, tickets for her right now. Um, all right, this is as you log in. This is part of a relatively old celebration on Global. Every day you will log in, you will get two to three. Uh, you get one of these tickets for completing the beginner missions too. You will get a ticket that it's one pull. And you get a guaranteed S rank. Uh, it's one of the general pool, one of the 13. So, again, not all of them are very exciting, but it's, for a new player, they're all very good. Um, and you generally want to get one of everything anyway. This banner I'm going to touch on in a second. And this is... You only want to pull on this banner if you have tickets. There's never a reason to pull on this. This is only the 13 banner units for new players. Here's the thing. If you go on the Reddit or the Discord, etc., uh, S like the general pool S ranks are very exciting at first, and some of them are very good. Some of them are top tier. The thing is, the longer you play this game, the more it becomes an inevitability that you will just get all of them. They give us scout tickets for these all the time. We get lots of free scout tickets and things like that. Um, eventually, you're going to pull after after a few months. If you're thinking six months to a year. Uh, down the road, which is kind of how you have to think in a lot of gotcha games, you will get everything in the general pool, okay? You're going to start drawing um, awakening copies of them, okay? So do not worry about that too much. Okay, so let's go here. Okay, the this is called the Retry Banner. This is available on every new account since launch. Um, doesn't seem to be going away. This is just the, the first banner that you get. Okay, it has one featured banner unit. It is the Killing Machine. Okay, he's pretty cool. Um, note that he is most useful when he has one uh, extra copy. Uh, for new players, um, when you get the unit, he can awaken up to five times. For gotcha units, they can awaken five times once for each extra copy you get. Um, but that's pr that's pretty normal in gotcha. Um, the awa the importance of the awakening uh, unit. Uh, me, you know, it differs from unit to unit. On him, his first one gets him an extra move. It puts him at three move. That's a lot more mobility. Uh, in some content, it's going to be considered uh, very necessary for him. Uh, but yeah, so he, here's a trap that a lot of players fall into. That's the reason why you need a guide for this if you don't know better already. Don't summon on this one right away, okay? Because he... he well, you know, I, I am going to show you, okay, right now, because this, this is a throwaway account. I'll show you how this banner works real quick. This is not the first thing you want to do. I'm just showing you, and I will explain how it works uh, later. Okay, so this is what a, a summoning animation looks like scouting, if you haven't done it yet. Okay, I got a gold ticket. That means that I will get at least one A rank unit. A ranks are very useful in this game. If you've played gotchas where anything other than the top tier units... Are complete garbage. That is not this game. Almost every unit has a purpose. Um, you know, C's and D's less exciting, but um, you know, B's, A's, very useful in some content. Those C's, D's in the story, you can recruit E's and F's as well. Uh, sorry, D, E, and F are all all only in this in the story. Uh, summons will only scouts will only give you A, B's, and C's. Uh, some of those lower tier units can be useful too. Okay, you'll figure that out. That's not what this video is about. But really, there are no... Everything in your initial scouts is exciting for the most part. You can use them in battle roads. Uh, like I said, some of these lower rank units still have uses in top tier, like end game content. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not talking about free to play only stuff. You know, like, oh wow, somehow... This genius managed to pass it with only, you know, a C rank unit on his team. Uh, no, some of them are legitimately best in slot, if you want to use that term, in your party 
for some of the most difficult content in this game. Angel Slime's another one. Very strong healer for mid heal. Okay. So you'll see, uh, this was not a great multi. Um, you know, some of these units are, are fine, but you know, you want to start with an S rank, okay? You still want S ranks, okay? They're still the best for the most part. Um, but here, this is, do not get used to this, guys. This is this banner only. You can hit this button, retry. You can do it again until you get what you want, okay? If you're insane, you can do this until you get five S ranks, okay? Or, or ten. But I think ten is, imp I don't think. That's the, the I, I don't know what the odds of that, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and say impossible. Um, I've seen people get five on this, though. Here's a thing to um, uh, remember, though, and I kind of touched on this with the general us, us pool. People will tell you that you need to start with White King or Hell Gladiator or Emperor Slime, and those are very good units. But believe me, guys, you will get them eventually. You don't need them. You do not need them. They are very good. You'll get them eventually. Here's what you want here. Here's what you want to collect whenever there's a banner, what you're aiming for. The banner unit. The banner units are the best by far, and they are the hardest to get. So if you are summoning on a banner, what you want is the featured banner unit. Okay. You can see about how quick this goes. I'm just, I'm just idling here. What you want is killing machine. Okay. Uh, now, when we first started, you know, like day one in global, when none of us had any idea, we were all theorizing about what S ranks we needed to go with him. Um, and there are S ranks that will go further on a new account. Uh, White King, Hell Gladiator, Emperor Slime, Royal Reptile. Um, you can rank how good the other ones are. Uh, Archdemon is pretty good. Uh, some of them are relatively useless um, in the end game. Uh, thing is is they do not matter all you want is oh, okay that when the wand goes uh like green and rainbow you like that it means we're guaranteed an s rank okay so let's go through this one real quick um the only thing you care about on this banner is the killing machine all right and it's really not that hard it may take you some time if you care about re-rolling efficiently properly whatever you want to re-roll this banner until you get two killing machines, okay? It's really not that hard. It is RNG, um, but I'm going to point out one other cool thing about this banner. Okay, there we go. Now, this is this is good, okay? But this banner is so easy to re-roll, we would do it until we got two of them. I'm not going to do that on this video, but we'll touch on it, okay? Um, all right, here's another thing. This banner doesn't end until you hit confirm. Okay, let's let's do this here. Um, yeah, all right. So if you were now, you would have to leave the game to stop summoning on this banner without accepting it, because uh, you can he keep hitting retry until you get it. But okay, let's say that we like this. Okay, you confirm it. All right, now everything's official. If you got awakening copies and anything, there you go. You start getting those, getting through all this. Uh, if you, like, if you got to go to bed or something, if you got something you need to do and you're worried about wasting your retry banner, you can't. Just close the game, okay? Your gems will be refunded or not spent, however you put it, uh, however it works internally. It doesn't really matter. The gems are not spent... It's not finalized until you hit confirm. Okay, so you can't, like, exit out of the banner within the game, it seems. But if you just close the game, it doesn't take you right back there. You're just back at the title screen. You can go keep playing. So if if you are being tryhard, if you want to go for two uh, killing machines or even more, you're some maniac that wants to go for two killing machines and one or two other S ranks, you know what? Take your time. Go ahead. Honestly, I suggest just taking two killing machines and running, but... Um, you can leave this banner up as long as you want. Okay. All right. So let's go look at, um, let's just have some fun. Let's, um, you know, for a new player, I would probably suggest this one. Dragon Lord is fantastic in PVE. Um, Queen She Slime has some very unique utility uses. Dread Dragon is a piece of garbage. Um, but Zoma is one of the best units that we have right now. Uh, out of the, uh, banner units... Uh, of these two banners, he is the best. 
This banner, I wait higher overall. Dragon Lord True Form is amazing. Killing Machine, hopefully you already have two. Um, but, uh, you know, another copy, it's not bad. I mean, you can only use five units in a team. So, you know, having five fully awakened units compared to, you know, having one copy of everything, you know, you want five, you, you want fully awakened units. Now, I'm a collector, but, you know, don't be upset about getting an awakening in a good unit rather than not getting something new. Uh, Baramos is the best Bane caster in the game. People were really down on him at first. Turns out he's hella strong. Also, in an um, arena, uh, a low agility on a caster is actually good. So, don't uh, don't don't look down on Baramos just because he came, you know, after Zoma. Uh, and then Slyonheart is a terrific uh, melee unit. All right, so let's go. I did that on my main account, and I got my killing machine. Let's uh, let's do this one. Let's just show you how this works. I got, we could get two S ranks off this. That would be amazing. In fact, that's oh my god, guys! There's so many options for you rerolling right now. Um, this is more reroll tips than a guide because there's no straight guide right now that I can think of. Um, okay, we're going through too many things. By the way, all the A ranks, these uh, every banner comes with a, a featured S rank and a featured A rank. The featured A rank also has a significantly higher chance to be pulled. In fact, it looked like we just did the Dragon Lord banner because that was his featured. A rank. The featured A ranks are usually pretty good. Um, you also, like, if you're doing a regular banner on them, a regular, like, trying to fill out a stamp card, you'll usually fully awaken them, so that makes them very useful. Um, but, uh, yeah, those are the only A ranks in these banners, too. It's just the four banner A ranks, the four uh, banner S ranks, so very good. So this is, uh, this is a good start here. Um, and then let's go look at one of our other re-roll options. Um, and I will try to sum things up after. Uh, let's see. I, okay, uh, another thing. Uh, we'll keep going down here. Uh, another thing. We've got 10 Elena tickets. Okay? So you can start with her too. Okay? Uh, here's the... Outside the retry banner, like doing these... Doing retries on these banners takes a long time. Okay, like actually re-rolling the account every time. Okay, see that's a white king. That's a that's a nice thing. Like uh, honestly, this uh, this count is off to a decent start. Okay. Um. Okay, let's see. the The next thing we're going to do is um, what I would consider like the traditional re-roll. And you know, honestly, looking on it now, uh, still what you he is the best banner. He's the best unit to come out so far. It's Sorrow. He's literally a little bit game-breaking right now. Um, now, you will get tickets from him from the shop. That's great. You're not going to do that before re-rolling. Re-rolling, you know, re-rolling is you do nothing in the game and you just start playing. It's very easy to do here. Um, we still have th we still have enough gems for... I mean, nor we should have 7,400 doesn't matter. Honestly, it really doesn't matter how many gems right now because you really want to pull him, depending on how try hard you are, you want to get him in one shot. All right, so here's what you want to do. You want to spend 3,000 gems on this banner first, and then, honestly, just go for one sorrow, may maybe sorrow and something else. Uh, the best, the best thing to do is to go for two copies of sorrow. But the amount of time that takes... It's far from impossible, but I'm not going to sit here and say that like every new player should sit and go for double sorrow. Right now, I mean, now that you can start with 6,000 gems and do this banner twice, maybe I would tell you to... I think I might tell you to go for double sorrow. Okay. I think I would say to go for double sorrow right now. Um, and then after sorrow... What's this here? That's a blue stacks thing. Um, double sorrow, then you can go and, you know, we already did these things, but let me show you. Um, double sorrow, uh, depending on how hard that is for you to get, I would probably keep any account that gave me double sorrow. But, you know, you can also, if you don't care about sorrow, or if you just plan on throwing all your free-to-play gems into him and, you know, you're convinced that you'll get him, maybe you want to retry, uh, do a retry until you get, like, two or three of these guys, okay? You could do, you could re-roll this banner with your ticket until you get two or three of these units. That might be your best start. 
I still say go for Double Sorrow. But you're saying, you know, right now you're looking at me like, Chase, I haven't even, like, I downloaded this game. I barely know anything. I played it for like an hour. How do I reroll, man? Dude, it's not so bad. You can either hit the back button or you can just go here to the uh, the menu, back to title. Okay. Real quick. This is how easy it is to reroll in this game. It does take a few minutes. So, you know, when I'm talking about going for Double Sorrow, it does take a few minutes each attempt. It takes some patience. It's going to take you a couple hours. Uh, probably, unless you're very lucky. Okay, very important. After I went, like, after I hit back to title, don't touch anything. Don't click nothing. Okay? It'll take you in automatically. You can't stop it. It's a little bit annoying. Okay, you, what you want to do is uh, hit data management. I know this is scary, but, dude, you don't care about this account. This is a throwaway account. account. Um, you want to delete it right there. All right. And now this is fresh, okay? Now, if you are brand new and you've only, you know, you haven't played yet, you have to go through, uh, just on the device at all, not tied to your account, okay? On the device, you need to go through the tutorial, which is Chapter 1 and Chapter 2-1. Um, after that, you'll see... Um, after you go through that, that's the same for a fresh account. It will give us an option here, eventually eventually skip the tutorial you can still use your tutorial scout voucher later yes you don't have to go through the tutorial every time guys they made this game so easy to re-roll okay i definitely have like some complaints for square right now okay so i, I didn't do this the first time this is just the standard login bonus i think this repeats just every but eight nine days however this one is up till august 5th wow that's very generous these are, I don't, you will understand this later, but this is a very important login bonus. Um, it doesn't go away if you miss a day or anything like that. If you're not like super dedicated at first, you will keep getting these things, but it stops August 5th. Okay, there's so many of these right now. Yes, we have our starting boost, okay. Um, this is only for the general uh, banner, the one I told you never to touch with gems, but you'll see, not only do you get one of these tickets for going through the beginner missions, you get two of these for uh, just logging in. So day two on your new account, you will start no matter what with that ticket for a guaranteed S rank. Uh, okay, that was the 3,500 gems. There is our ticket for the free uh, multi on the incredible banner. Um, this is for Elena. Uh, this is for uh, Kirill. You can see now you get a couple of neat things along the way, but days two, six, and ten for both of these banners you get a Kirill Scout ticket. It's just good for one uh, Scout. Not a, not a ten pole, just a Scout. Okay, same here for Sorrow. The Fragments are a little bit different. I'll talk about... If you don't know about Fragments, they're easy to figure out. But again, if you guys want a full-fledged free-to-play... Uh, or sorry, full-fledged uh, new player video, just let me know. Alright, so you go through all this stuff. And now you're exactly back to where I started the video. Alright, so let me recap... You want to start with, man, this video went long. I'm sorry. I rambled, but hopefully you wanted to know all this stuff if you're new. Um, again, you go to your, you know, you go to your mailbox, you collect everything again. Just takes a second. Sorry. I know this video is running so long. I'm trying to just sum up and show once again, I'm probably, probably don't need to do this. All right. But once again, we have 7,400 gems easily i again um if you want the best start possible in this game use your uh three thousand use your uh six thousand gems okay and once again if you do if you do not remember if you put money in this game this banner it's once only this does not guarantee you sorrow it gives you about a one in four chance of having him in the guaranteed slot it's actually more than one in four uh because Again, there are still nine other slots in this multi-summon that you could get an S-rank. Okay. Um, but yeah, you want to start here. Uh, scout cards, they're pretty self-explanatory. If you did 30 multi-summons on this banner, okay, you are guaranteed to get Sorrow. That's the, only, that's the only spot that he's guaranteed. You are guaranteed to get him there. But you don't need to do that. Unless you're like, unless you're looking to wail out in this game and you want to fully awaken things, that's your choice. Um, 
you do not need to worry about Sara after this because uh, you will get a. F you, if you're following my advice, you're gonna get two copies of Sara. Okay. All right. So there we get. There's little bonuses on the stamp card along the way. Most of them aren't that big a deal. All right. So let's just do this one more time. Let's get uh, nothing. Nothing good. I mean, we got the banner unit, but that's not important. Okay, one more. Okay, hopefully we're getting something good here. Uh, okay, again, the, do not be fooled. Okay, first of all, this unit, this unit is only okay. Do not be fooled by, oh my god, but Chase, I got two S ranks. I can't re-roll this account. Trust me, this is a crap multi for a new account, okay? You start with a one awakening uh, great dragon. You're going to be sad in about a week when you realize how stupid it was, but you wasted your time. Okay. Because the pull rates in this game really compared to other gotchas, I would not call them too low. They are low enough that you need to be very efficient. Again, I do think that it, as this game gets older, the rates will improve. Thing is, there's only like, I think there's 24 units, uh, S units in this game right now. You can't get half of them in the first week for free, okay? That's not how gotcha works. Although, honestly, you can get pretty close right now. Um, all right, so after that, say that that went well, because you do, trust me, you want to keep re-rolling until you get at least one Sorrow. I really suggest going for two right now, now that you have two multis. Normally, it's one. Normally, you have one multi, and I would say that you're really, really try hard for trying to get two copies of the banner unit. Um, now that you've got 6,000 gems... I would suggest using both, doing both uh, multis with your stones, gems, and um, going for a double sorrow. It will get you very far in this game. After that, I mean, I wouldn't suggest rerolling after you get double sorrow. But again, I mean, you could you could choose to reroll here. God, if Elena is your favorite unit, if you absolutely are dying to use Elena, reroll until you get her guaranteed. Uh, by the way, small thing here. Once, once you're at the screen, like once you're summoning, slow down, okay? We've got 10 tickets here, so we want to do a multi, okay? Hit that. Do not just, don't click too fast, okay? You don't want to spend gems on this. Use your tickets, okay? Just slow down and read that. All right, so this is unnecessary. I'm just doing this to end. Um, so again, there's it's such a great time to start right now because after getting Sorrow, you, once again, you've got 10 Elena tickets, all right? You've got the free Celebration uh, multi-banner. You've got 13 General Pool s rank tickets, just day one. You're going to get more of them every day. Um, gosh. Uh, was it, I mean, you, you go through Chapter 6 on the story, you've got a guaranteed General Pool s rank again. Um, two, mo two more of those on top of it. Um after like what what is it like eight days when you get the third ticket, um, when you go to the event shop, I'll I'll, sh I'll show you this real quick. Um, again, this is not for re-rolling, but just for new players getting as many free pulls as possible. You can you can whine about the S rank rate ranks in this game. The game is four months old. Okay, brand new gotchas have low uh, rates. Okay, and. There's so much content that you don't need the S uh, rank units for. They're honestly, they're for fun a lot of the time. Um, but right now there's a special event, DQ4. Uh, you get these medals so easily, uh, coins, medals, whatever, going through the story. You get so many of them. You will get another 10 Elena vouchers. That's enough for a multi. You will get another 10 Kirill vouchers. And you will get 10 Sorrow Voucher. Okay, so it's 10 for everything. They were very generous in this celebration. It is such a good time to start, guys. Uh, and then, you know, you, you can watch other videos to figure out what's good in the event shop. It's relatively self-explanatory. Um, only thing I'll say is iridescent orbs are the most important thing. If you see the opportunity to get an iridescent orb, you get it, okay? Not necessarily right away, but if it's limited, that's your priority. All right, so way too long of a video. I hope that this helped a new player. Um, again, if there are a lot of new players in the community right now and you want a better uh, beginner guide, just comment. Hit me up on the uh, 
I, I respond to things on the Reddit. I'm not as active there. I'm on uh, Discord a bit. You can, um, you know, username there is Chase Games. I'm in the main Discord. I'm on Platt's Discord. You can find those pretty easily. Um, anyway, hit me up there if you have some questions uh, within reason. Um, and if you are a brand new player, I hope that you enjoy this game, guys. It's a lot of fun. All right. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon, guys.